Okay, so I'm going to tell you about my point of view on Nintendo and what my life was like growing up with it as I show you this little thing um, from Nintendo World, little museum. Here we have these uh, Nintendo playing cards. I actually never knew they existed. There's Game & Watch. Never had that either. I actually found out about that at first with Super Smash Bros. Melee. There's a Mario doll, the Pal doll. Pal doll. <laughs> And uh, there's the 8-bit Mario, the robot. I didn't really know about this stuff too much in Nintendo. Yeah, but these 8-bit games, these Nintendo cartridges, that's what I grew up with. That was my first exposure to Nintendo in the late 80s. There's the system I used to have. Nintendo Power, I remember that uh, Super Mario Brothers 2 cover. There's Mario, a cheap cheap and a bullet bill. Duck Hunt. I had the two pack, the Mario Brothers and Duck Hunt double double game feature. I remember that Ninja Turtles Nintendo Power Magazine cover and the DuckTales one and the Tetris one. Yeah, this was definitely something I grew up with. There was Kirby. There's here's the, some of the Nintendo games I also played at the time. A lot of memories here in this. I don't know remember what this thing was with the numbers on here. Power Pad. Oh, I never played that. That's the new version of Nintendo. Last semester, I remember. A Boy and His Blob. Never could get through that game. I used to have the Game Boy. Those games I also did have. Power Glove. My only best memory of the Power Glove is from that movie, The Wizard. Here's the actual Nintendo. Yeah, that, that uh, Duck Hunt Mario Brothers thing. That's what I had. As you see on the box over there. If you look at the glass, by the way, you'll be able to see me filming this to the reflection over there. Here's the, Nintendo, the Super Nintendo. Yeah, that's what I used to have also. A lot of great memories with that. I really enjoyed it. Yeah, the Mario Paint mouse pad. I used to, uh, a friend of mine had that. I used to play it all the time. Now I just watch Mario Paint on YouTube. Super Game Boy. I enjoyed playing my Game Boy games on the Super Nintendo, changing the colors on it all the time. I uh, used to own some of those games for Super Nintendo, Mario RPG being one of them. And uh, I don't know what game this is. I'm not sure. I, oh, yeah, I think it's The Legend of Zelda. And that must be from one of the magazines. I do remember that Super Mario World cover, but... I'm pretty sure it was a popular one to, to to read at the time. Virtual Boy. Yeah, this I think this was probably uh the casing in the museum area where you know, Nintendo wasn't exactly at the top of their peak, but they had some fun games. I like Wario Land. That was a great game for Virtual Boy. I used to play that Toys R Us all the time, so that was fun to do. Here we have the Mario uh film and television media. There's the Luigi doll, some of the DVDs. I don't know why people hated the Mario Brothers movie. I mean, to this day, after 20 years now, I'm still a big fan of the movie. I really enjoyed it. Yeah, here's the plastic Mario doll, the Bob Hoskins <laughs> molded version of it, and the John Leguizamo. I was utterly shocked to see how much franchise was put into this movie, how much these toy companies were really banking on the success of this. And, uh, you know, it, what happened, what happened. But I still love the movie. Yeah, Nintendo 64, I own pretty much all those games. Even to this day, I still have my Nintendo 64 connected, and I still have every single game I bought. I, f I don't find any reason to get rid of it. Yeah, here's, uh, here's some more video games. Perfect Dark, I remember. That was a fun game. I was a big fan of GoldenEye at the time, and Perfect Dark was pretty much the replica of GoldenEye. Here we have the GameCube now, and the Game Boy Advance. I actually still have, uh, not the Game Boy Advance, but I have the Game Boy Advance SP, along with uh, the games I got for the, uh, the system. There's Pikmin. I'm going to be honest for you, the only reason why I bought Pikmin at all was so I can get the uh, Pikmin trophy for Super Smash Bros. Melee. Other than that, I didn't care too much about that game. The GameCube I don't have connected anymore because I get to play GameCube discs on my Wii, which we're looking at right now, the Nintendo Wii. I still have Wii Sports. Here we have the Nintendo DS, which I guess is best described as the replacement on the Game Boy Advance. I never bothered getting the Game Boy, a, a Nintendo DS. I do have that Wii um, shooter, by the way. 
I actually got that because I bought a game called Attack of the Movies in 3D, and I thought I would want to, you know, shoot it in a you know more fundamental way. But uh, I was slowly losing interest in video games at that time. And uh, yeah, I still have my Wii connected. Play GameCube games on it. The Wii U I don't own. I'm not too sure if I'm gonna own it, but uh, you know, I'm I'm still going to. Uh, Maybe consider it. I still watch video games of the Wii U on YouTube, and uh, yeah, that's about it. You know, I think eventually I'll get back and I'll probably get the the 3DS, Nintendo DS, soon enough, and the Wii U. You know, I guess uh, once I put some thought, in, look at me over there. I'm uh, filming it, and uh, that's it. Yeah, here's a good overview shot of everything, and uh, all right, well, enjoy the video. <laughs> Hope I was uh, informative enough on my experience with Nintendo. Alright, see ya.